boy, you can really tell the holiday season is upon us. And not just because Halloween decorations have started to pop up in every department store, but because all of the new products that we've been waiting for for eight or nine months are finally all coming out at once. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at the new Space Invaders Micro Player Pro from My Arcade, and we're gonna compare it a little bit, at least, to that 2020 Premium Edition line. We're gonna do all of that right after this. This video brought to you in part by Tommy in the Order of Cosmic Champions. This exciting and heartwarming coming of age Gen X novel is available now. Check the link for more info. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I am John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. I wanna thank you for clicking on this video and checking it out. Uh, so My Arcade has started putting out all of their new stuff for 2023 that we first saw back at CES in January. And each new model, for the most part, is coming out with a pocket player, micro player, and nano player. Uh, and in the case of this video, I wanna look at this new Space Invaders micro player. Uh, and in particular, this guy is running about 40 bucks like all the other micro players are, but you might remember in 2020, we had that really cool premium edition line, Space Invaders. So while I'm gonna show you this, and this is a review for this item, I'm gonna compare it to that older Space Invaders that came out, because you know what? You can still buy that one too. It's still out there and available. So as with all my reviews, I'm gonna help you make the best buying decision for you based on what all these products in the marketplace have to offer. And so what better time than now to get started looking at this new Space Invaders Micro Player Pro. Here is our lovely new Space Invaders Pro. And again, this is predominantly a review of this new 2023 product. But you remember this beautiful beast because this is still available and still you can purchase it. Now it's a little bit more expensive. This is going for 50 or 60 bucks these days. You know, the new Micro Player Pros are like 40. So, but it's unavoidable that this was so good and you can still buy one that there are some places where I'm gonna compare it just so you can make a better buying decision to know whether this is for you or you wanna shell out the little extra for that. I'm not gonna re-review this premium, link to that up in the corner here if you wanna go watch it, but we are gonna use it as a discussion point as we dig in further into the brand new MicroPlayer Pro Space Invaders. Down in the front here is a lovely new hologram design that's on all these Pro units. I just haven't called them out so far. I like a nice hologram, so why not? Around back, we have the little history panel. So in case you don't know just how important <laughs> Space Invaders is to video gaming lore. And, and then inside you have the standard photos of kind of how you can power it and that sort of thing, trying to shove it in a backpack again. Over here, we talk about the controls. Now, again, as we know with these new Pro units, this is very much an arcade port. I've expected it to be, I haven't gotten it open yet. We have insert a coin here. We have player one, player two, start and a home button. They love to talk about putting in continues where they mean credits. Space Invaders doesn't have continues, but it's just some verbiage here that I think ought to say the credits, not continues. So far this year, I've been pretty happy with my arcade's track record on these new pro units. So why don't we get this one open and find out just what they have in store for us. Once inside, of course, we have our cabinet and a little bit of literature. We have instructions and you know what we do with instructions. Those are gone. And then we have the flyer. Now this is the new flyer. You can see here's the Game Station Pro on it, but this is also a checklist. I like this new flyer because it kind of makes me feel like I'm collecting baseball cards or wacky packages or garbage pail kids again. I have a checklist. So let me go ahead and mark off my Space Invaders Micro Player Pro as being part of my collection. Let's move right into taking a look at the hardware and be a brief tour of it. Of course, around the side, we have that legendary Space Invaders artwork with a really glossy decal, which looks fantastic, and logo here on the top. That's on both sides. If you look up top, we have a very short marquee. This does not light up, although something else does that I haven't been mentioning. We'll get to in a second. Just below that, we have the screen. Now, this is a 2.75-inch screen with a really nice Space Invaders bezel around it. Now, as I review more of these, there are more and more little nitpicks. As we've seen how good they've done with the software. We know that this screen has some tearing with it, if, assuming it's the same one the entire line has. Not a big deal for Space Invaders, but the other thing that's really, I've heard from commenters is, why so little? There's plenty of room to do a larger screen here. And frankly, on a device this size, in this day and age, in 2023, this probably should be a little bit bigger. Uh, but I mean, again, we haven't dinged them for that before, but it's worth noting that we're ready for bigger screens in these things. So, so, so stop cheaping out on the tiny screens. We know you have a lot of them in stock. We understand that, but 
but let's source some new ones and get some nicer screens with better response time and larger dimensions. Moving down to this control deck then, first things first, I love the decal decoration on this control deck. Now often this is just an afterthought, just to slap a sticker on it with some dots or something, but this is from the original artwork on the cabinet and it gives you this feeling of being in a cockpit which I think is just gorgeous and adds to the overall kind of feeling of this cabinet. Of course, we have the home button, which we know resets. We have a one player and two player start. And then our fire button, we have this new style joystick, no longer the little D-pad with a, uh, a bat top screw and screw off. It's like a little stainless steel shaft. Now, of course, Space Invaders only needs left and right, but this is a four-way joystick. I don't feel any restrictor plate in there, but I don't think that'll be a problem. Down here in the kneeboard, then, we have another nice decal with some detail. The insert credit uses the Japanese 100 yen, and that's because, as you probably know, Space Invaders only had a joystick in Japan. The American release had left and right buttons, so since this has a joystick, they're staying true to the arcade cabinet. So that makes good sense. Also down here on the kneeboard, you might remember these coin doors used to be a power on off button and it isn't any longer but i should mention that on all these pro units when you turn the power on this coin door lights up on the bottom you have these two full width rubber feet stickers that keep the unit from moving around on the table when you're playing it and i can tell you from experience they really work and hold this thing in place around back here you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack you have a usb-c 5 volt power in if you'd rather use that for power rather than batteries and then you have this variable brightness toggle uh, here all just below the battery box and then just above this battery box we have a single rear firing speaker volume up volume down and a power on off switch enough of that let's go ahead and get this fake screenshot of space invaders off the screen and throw in some batteries so we can give this thing a test drive now i know there are very few things in life more exciting than watching someone put double a batteries into a toy so i'm going to double up on this time to make sure you know about our merch store if you head over to genxgrownup.com merch you can find t-shirt designs of our logo certainly but also logo designs of every fandom whether it's star wars or star trek or arcade games like miss pac-man or galaga or space invaders you're sure to find something there that you like or maybe that person in your life that you have to buy for the holiday season that's coming up might like and every dollar you spend goes to help gen x grown up and you get something out of it too okay looks like the battery's in let's fire this thing up and check it out here we go into the arcade as usual there's our micro player my arcade logo give me some space invaders come on give it to me there it is all right now this is where i think it would be good to compare this rom that we have to the one we loved so much in that 2020 premium edition and looking at this side by side you can get a good idea of just how similar they are i mean they should be they're both based on the same original arcade cabinet uh, but the same cool design on the control deck the same oh by the way illuminated down here coin door it's just not the uh, power button uh, and remember the speaker on this was pretty weak and i found you'll see in a second the speaker on this much better i'd really like to set up a side by side of the game inside now because this looks into the game and this is surface level let me set up this split screen so you can see them both clearly so even at first glance you can see there's that uh, taito corporation branding that's on the uh, the splash screen that is not present on the one that came out in 2020 otherwise even down to you know the movement of the aliens and uh, the way that the shields are destructible I mean, all of that is there. Even back when the premium player came out, we did follow up videos and realized that even though it was so, so, so close, it didn't seem to be exactly the arcade ROM. Another thing I noticed on the new MicroPlayer Pro is that the alien's bullets actually do some destruction to the green line across the bottom where you're moving back and forth. And that was something noticeably absent from the port we got back in 2020. So I think we're gonna find that both of these are remarkably accurate representations of the original arcade ROM, though both have their little idiosyncrasies that make them a little more or less accurate to the version of Space Invaders that you might remember from the arcade. All right, I think that's enough history lesson then. Let's turn our focus back to this new MicroPlayer Pro 2023. Let's start by looking at that brightness uh, button on the back. Now this uh, boots up in medium. You hit that once and you go to bright. Again, it goes down to dim, which actually looks pretty good. I might use that and then up to medium. Now let's leave it on dim. I kind of like the contrast there. Let's throw in a coin and push player one start. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that sound. Now, again, we know that this is a bit of a, a modern port of the original arcade game for this hardware, but I've not run any limitations yet. You know, we had like some sound anomalies in like the Ms. Pac-Man and the Galaga, but 
Space Invaders has so few sounds, and they're so rudimentary. Now, this just sounds right to my ear. Now, you're listening to it through my camera's microphone, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in that headphone jack and let you get some clean audio so you can hear it the way that I hear it. Maybe better than I'm hearing it. Okay, I've got it all switched over. Nice, clean audio you're going to get out of there. So I'm going to try to talk a little less so you can really focus on the audio. The video, the game portion, the presentation, the sprites, everything. I mean, you would have had to tell me it's not the original for me to not start nitpicking it and look for things that are different. So, all right, coin in, start. Here we go. <laughs> the behavior of the game feels accurate to my memory. Ooh, I always appreciated you could shoot the alien's bullets. I always wonder why more games didn't allow you to do that. This is a really good Space Invaders experience. I should have let my guy get killed, I guess. You can hear the explosion of him dying. <laughs> Stop doing well, John. Yep, that's how I remember the explosion sounding. I don't know what more I can say about this little Space Invaders. I mean, it feels like Space Invaders, it sounds like Space Invaders, it looks like Space Invaders, and yeah, so now it's time to figure out what we think about it. If you've already decided this micro player is something you've got to have in your collection, I've placed links down in the description of this video where you can click to buy this or any of the new items from my arcade in their 2023 line. But for now, let's talk about my rating. I said when I was playing it, if I just played this looking at it, you'd have to remind me and make me start looking for things that make it different from the original Space Invaders ROM. It looks and plays great. That new controller, that I really like that new stainless steel stick. They did away with that D-pad with the screw on, screw off thing. I find this new joystick and buttons to be superior to anything my arcade put out on their micro players in the past. So I'm very happy with that change. Let's talk a little bit about audio. Now, when I was playing it, it sounded great to me. When I was editing the part of the video where I was playing and it was plugged into the headphone jack, I noticed that at times it's almost like there are not enough voices. If a lot of things are happening at once, like you need a thump thump noise and you need a fire bullet noise and you have a UFO coming, and you have to shoot an alien, that often I'll hear little dropouts. And I found that to be distracting. And it's something that I'm definitely going to take into consideration when I'm rating this particular unit. As for the screen, it's something I talked about at the beginning, that these screens seem to have some tearing and they're a bit subpar compared to what we would like to see in a modern device. But none of that really came into play for Space Invaders because Space Invaders is pretty easy lifting for hardware like this. And I had no problems with the screen, aside from, as I said, it would be nice if it were just a little bit larger. Overall, I'm really happy that what they're doing is making the arcade experience there. Look, you've even got the attract mode when you turn it on. You have the aliens fixing the typos and the Y upside down and the extra characters. All of that adds to the experience that we had in arcades. And my arcade is starting to get that it's not just that we want to play a game like what we had. We want to remember what it was like to play that game, having it as close as possible. And they're doing a great job with these micro player pros. So as for a rating, so in general, the little bit of an audio problem I had in there, we know that these don't save high scores. I checked and this one doesn't either. And also this is just one game. It's not several games or even two games as we saw in Galaga. So I'm gonna rate this Space Invaders Micro Player Pro three and a half tokens out of five. Now that's in no way saying that it's not a good product, but there are other products on the market 
like that premium edition line that we looked at. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding which of these is right for you and when you're trying to stretch your gaming budget as far as possible while still extending your collection of classic arcade toys. Look, I'm gonna put some links over my shoulders here and here to some other coverage I've done of this recent 2023 My Arcade line. I certainly hope you found something to enjoy in this video though, and I cannot wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.